Here live in Washington, D.C. at the Lincoln Memorial slash the Veterans Memorial with the Dream Defenders at the 50th anniversary march. Here's a little footage. Philip Agnew, director of the Dream Defenders. So can you tell me how it felt from the capital of Florida to the nation? Um, we had an opportunity to meet a lot of the people who weren't able to come down to the Capitol with us and fellowship with people up here and the response that we've been getting and the excitement that we have from meeting people that we've been talking to online has been extraordinary. Um, the, the nation's capital is just that, it's the nation's capital. So everything is bigger on a grander scale, but we're meeting and building partnerships that are going to really make our movement stronger in Florida and around the country. So how do you feel today when you up there? Uh, it was surreal. It was crazy. I only had two minutes, but to be able to address, they say 100,000 people, you know, and to be able to be speaking directly to 55 people that we came on a bus with was huge. My parents were in the audience. Uh, so it was surreal. It was crazy. It really was crazy. That's the only word I can describe is just seeing a sea of people out from on both sides of the reflection pool. It was amazing. It was amazing. So what else can we have in store for you? Um, well, for us, with the Dream Defenders, we're going to register 61,000 voters. Um, that's our goal to do that by 2014. Um, we're also uh, going to be at the September 23rd uh, committee meetings so we can discuss and have a substantive debate about Stand Your Ground. And uh, we're going to continue to build, hopefully be on more college campuses. We're on eight right now. And uh, hopefully get to a place where we're able to get some real hard victories on the issues that mean a lot to the, to the young people and people of color and poor people in the state. Where is that event going to be located? Well, it's going to be at the Capitol. So they're going to have the debate sometime that week. Um, we don't know what date, but it's our plan that whenever it is for us to bring everybody we know there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our next speaker is the national president of the Lakes Incorporated. This model is Good morning. We stand here today as the beneficiaries and the inheritors of a dream that was received to us 50 years ago. One sun kissed summer day in 1953 turned into a milestone. So being um, a dream defender and, and a lot of what we do, our work um, is, is molded and crafted out of um, the dream of Martin Luther King Jr. Um, that we have the same um, principles and, 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 and goals, so to say. So being there at the March on Washington, the 50th March on Washington, which was just as big and just as full as people as I believe the first one, I wasn't there, of course, but it was it was definitely very, very massive and, and, and very, very powerful. Um, and having our executive director speak um, as far as like moving this, moving this generation forward and, and progressing um, with the times now and actually acting to do stuff, I think, I think that um, my organization was probably the most invested as, it, as in growing at actually acting to grow and change politics, you know. So I'm really proud of what we do, and I'm really proud of this moment and being a part of this moment.
Radio.